take the Milky Way, our friendly neighborhood galaxy, has about 100 billion stars. That's a lot of stars, but it's a big place. The brain has about 100 billion cells. It's exactly the same number, but it's squished into things about the size of two fists pushed together like this. Some years ago, it was like, wow, you know, the adult brain can do stuff, but, you know, like, okay, been there, done that. We all, <laughs> we're not so impressed by that anymore. What, it, what we would, I guess, like to know is how much can you learn? How does it work? You can speak as many languages as you want, but interpreting is really different. Because when you interpret, you, you have to render very correctly the message that you hear, and it's really a special skill. A baseball player has created a model in his brain he understands what perfection was. So he's continually using information that he has from the immediate past and from the distant past to make little corrections in how his movement trajectories are going to be controlled to hit the ball. So he's got to move his whole body. And memory comes powerful to play when you're mastering a skill or ability like that. You're either reading music or remembering, and you're executing these techniques and getting nuances and, and just holding it correctly, you know, just there's a lot going on. It seems as if it's probably like exercise, you know, you, you don't do it for a day, you really feel it and um, you feel and then two days it's exponential. One of the tasks we did was uh, a score reading task where the, uh, the musician uh, was flashed for three seconds a musical score with two refrains and then it flashed a black screen again and when the score went away they sang the melody. The intent here was to look at a task which can only be done in musicians and trained musicians can do it better. We were hoping to observe the visual aspects of, uh, of reading a score and translating that into motor production and uh, we ended up uh, observing more interesting things. There's a lot of ways in which these task-specific skills would carry over into other tasks. If you have these novel associations uh, between a sense modality and a motor modality, then you have an additional way of encoding what you're hearing translates to being better able to remember something because you're kind of repetitively coding this in your your head and you're even if you forget in one representation you still have this other representation you are a specialist just like that musician just like that baseball player just like that simultaneous interpreter you're manipulating information in complicated ways in your head the mathematics abilities that you have are superior to 99% of people a thousand years ago. You don't think about it, but that's neurological specialization. Every one of us has spent a lifetime developing the expertise that makes us unique. But unless we continually strive to retain our skills, they'll be lost. The latest research in neuroscience and the experience of experts will show us how. Join me for Brain Fitness, Peak Performance, 